You're listening to Shows That Shaped Me, a podcast by What's On Stage. This week's guest is cabaret star, drag artist and actor Legato Chocolat. With a wealth of experience across contemporary opera, cabaret and theatre, his solo shows have seen him perform in venues from London's Menier Chocolate Factory to the Adelaide Fringe. He's worked with the Olivier Award-winning circus acts La Clique and La Soiree, and alongside acts including Basement Jacks at the Barbican. On stage, he has recently been seen in Porgy and Bess at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, Threepenny Opera at The National, and Twelfth Night at Shakespeare's Globe. He's currently starring in Effigies of Wickedness, which runs at the Gate Theatre until the 9th of June. Here is Le Gâteau Chocolat. The most memorable production in my career is an interesting one because I kind of straddle um, more than one genre. So there's opera and theatre, uh, musical theatre, and cabaret, and also pop stuff. So one of the most extraordinary things that I've been part of was performing with Basement Jacks at the Barbican um, when they played their, um, their music with an 80-piece orchestra and a 70-piece choir. And it was and it was sold out. I think it was three nights. And he, they found me online or something and asked me if I'd be come and be part of it. And up until I stood on the stage at the Barbican, the whole thing was surreal. And then I remember watching Vula and Charlene, who are my friends, doing, you know, like the Oh My Gosh video and thinking, oh my God, they're so brilliant. I want to be friends with theirs. And now we are. So, um... That is surreal, and for many reasons, they have had, and rather spectacular, but it was in a pretty special, and I still think back to it, like, did that happen? And it did. I, I, it was a great, great, great thing, and very special. So one of the most memorable productions I've seen, I mean, there are, there are a few, and they all have their reasons. I saw um, Wishes of Eastwick when my A-level results were coming out, um, the first show I saw when I moved back to England was Rent in London. And then, weirdly, almost 15 years later, I met Debbie Corrup in um, Threepenny Opera. And I was like, oh my God, I saw you on stage 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Um, uh, there have been many, many kind of special productions for a lot of reasons. Um, uh, Hamilton... Uh, Lion King oh my god oh my god I remember seeing the Lion King and thinking what the hell and my mind I it completely blew my mind that level of puppetry and I mean Julie Taymor's imagination is just rather rather extraordinary I remember it was just really really special that was a, an incredible thing but one of the one of the productions that really sticks out just for a really extravagant reason was seeing Marja Figaro at Glyndebourne because a red Corvette, a red co um, um, convertible in the overture, which is about a minute long, if that, drives onto stage with these two. It's like they're going to a summer party. They get out of the car and it revolves. And that's the last time we see the car. And I was like, oh my God, you opera folk have got the money. It's ridiculous. Um, and I, I remember kind of laughing uncontrollably for like three minutes into the opera going, where's that? Is that the last time we're going to see that car? That car literally just drove onto stage. That's how big this stage is. You guys are ridiculous. Um, uh, but there'd be many. But that one was just like, Jesus, I want to work and pay me all that money. Is there a production that I wish I'd seen? I don't know that I have enough information i do know that there's some performers that i would have liked to have seen on stage doing their thing um in performers that still inspire me leontine price who's an opera a black american opera soprano i mean she def in that in the 70s for her to defy the odds so much and play Madame Butterfly on the Met stage is an extraordinary feat. And to have been able to have been in the audience to see her do that would have just, I mean, for so many reasons, not just because I think it would have been spectacular, but also because I think seeing yourself represented on stage turns potential um turns imagination and ambition into reality and potential you know that you can actually so seeing her achieve that and do it would have been such a special thing and i i feel like even though i didn't see it i feel like it's part of my heritage because she's carved and it's not just her there's jesse norman as well and barbara hendricks and all these incredible performers. Um, so I don't know if there's one production, but I think 
seeing them in productions, I think, would have been rather spectacular. To see them actually do their thing in their prime would have been really special. The person I'd most like to work with is um, Persons, actually. I feel like this is a bit of a Sophie's Choice thing. Like, oh, is it going to be? Um, there's so many, because I think that they'd all bring... What's interesting about working with people, I find, is the intersection, where their practice intersects with yours and therefore produces a side of yourself that you didn't know. So Jordan Peele, for instance, in Get Out, or Ava Duvani in her depiction in... 13th performers Jesse Norman Renee Fleming in terms of their um, uh, operatic acumen and how special they are Willard White who I don't know if he still performs John Tomlinson um, uh, composers Richard Thomas even though I have worked with him just like kind of keep ordering that relationship um what's his name thomas addies who wrote exterminating angel um which has been in the opera house um i don't know that there's one person i i like to open broaden my um work practice and therefore the people i work with so that i keep on evolving and evolving into different spheres so from theater to musicals to pop i mean who the hell would have thought i'd be working with them um, basement jacks and should another opportunity with something as surreal like that present itself um i'd be crazy not to jump at it so i think it's a wide net range i love to work with disney at some point i love to do some voiceover work so yeah i don't know that it's one person it's a lot of people and people i haven't even met yet so i'm gonna keep it open thank you for listening to shows that shape me a podcast by what's on stage if you enjoyed listening, please do subscribe on iTunes so that you don't miss a single episode. Previous episodes include Kate Fleetwood, Gina Beck, Drew McConey, Rosalie Craig and James Graham. 